what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King Johnson before and today people I want to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and I know I do not talk about Call of Duty much here in this channel but uh you know I do have a theory and I do have some ideas of what the game might actually be once it releases in October and I'm surprised it's gonna release in October I was like what that was quite of a shocking surprise of the reveal date of the of the release day and because uh, it's always releasing in November so it's quite shocking what happened there so anyways, um, so I do have this one crazy theory about Black Ops 4, and I know a lot of you guys are going to hate me after this, but like it's okay, you know, I can stand the heat. So I believe that maybe Call of Duty Black Ops 4 might actually be copying Rainbow Six Siege soon. And I know, like, oh Joe, I'm just going to hold a knife on your neck and just slit it open, like, <laughs> just calm down people, like, it might actually happen, because the way that I saw James Harden's hat, it kind of looked like a police badge to me. So let me show you guys the image. So James Harden was posted this, like, in social media, and uh, I saw the hat, and the first image that came to mind, I was like, that looks like a police badge. It has to be, like, just look at it. So uh, it just brings a lot of thoughts into mind. Like it could be a police badge. Maybe that's the way it's shaped because it's like four stripes. So uh, like, it's pretty weird, you know, like how it looks. And you can point out a lot of things out of it. And one of the things that I came around to is police badge. So uh, imagine Call of Duty moving from military setting to a police setting versus terrorist, which is something that CS:GO does, something that uh, Rainbow Six Siege does. So it's not a bad idea, to be honest. But uh, you know, Call of Duty is mostly known for military presence and military setting, and uh, this is gonna be probably the first time they actually move away from it. And hopefully they do, though. I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty since Black Ops One, and every single year is military, military, even in space. God damn it! Even in Advanced Warfare and Black Ops Three, you go into space and you're still a part of the military. <laughs> so. Uh, maybe one time we can get into the police force and you know and say like oh we're just gonna be playing cops versus robbers or something so it's gonna be interesting to see what the gameplay reveal is gonna you know set us up for so i cannot wait to see what's gonna happen in may because i think it's gonna the reveal is gonna be happening in may i think i'm not sure but uh it's something to see you for it's something to look forward to because um to be honest like every single call of duty black ops game so far i have been doing super good even in Black Ops 3, some game that I didn't expect to do good, I got over 100 kills a few times for the first time ever also in that game. And I wasn't expecting a futuristic setting. So, uh, so yeah, like it's going to be super crazy to know what's this setting, you know, because nobody has revealed anything. You can go into Ali Ace channel, T Martins, you know, all these, you know, big Call of Duty YouTubers who are usually in backstages of, uh, of the HQ of Activision, you know, they don't know anything so far. Or maybe they're just holding it out because they don't want to spoil too much. So, um, so yeah, what do you guys think about the logo? Do you guys think it looks like a police badge or maybe I'm just crazy and making up theories like, like nothing, you know, like it's, like it's just random. Like, to be honest, that's the first thing I saw. Like, uh, that's, it's just a police badge and... Uh, imagine the gadgets, the crazy kill streaks we can get from the FBI or the SWAT or whatever they're gonna put us through, and you know, for sure they're gonna have a lot of crazy gadgets. Just look at Rainbow Six Siege; they do have a lot of crazy gadgets, and uh, just imagine that as kill streaks. I would like to use some of them. So, um, hopefully they do improve a lot on gameplay. Hopefully they don't have a lot of laggy servers, because that's one of my freaking ways to like get super pissed. Like you guys saw it in Call of Duty World War 2, so that's my only hope. And the setting, hopefully, is impressive as it looks. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. What are your theories about Call of Duty Black Ops 4? Are you guys ready for it? Are you guys gonna get it, or are you just gonna are you guys gonna skip it? Cause Red Dead Redemption, right? Red Dead Redemption is gonna come out too this year. Goddamn. Even the Crew 2 and the Division 2, hopefully, it does release like around December this year. I don't want it to be delayed to like another year, cause. Man, I do miss the division a little bit. So that is it, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. And subscribe for more if you guys want to hear more topics about Call of Duty Black Ops 4.